Hello, this is Brandy from the Grand Forks Public Library. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating another acrylic paint pouring technique. I will be trying out the swipe technique where you use a paper towel or piece of cardboard or plastic and swipe the paint across your canvas. So I have my canvas ready to go. I put masking tape, or actually painter's tape rather, to keep the back clean. Once the pour is dry, you can just peel up the tape and you'll have a nice clean back of your canvas. And thumbtacks are so that once it's mostly dry, I can remove it from the tray and let it dry in another location. I have my paint mixed up as well. For paint pouring, I usually use a two parts pouring medium to one part paint ratio. And a pouring medium is just something that you mix with your paint to make it flow. I am using a product called Floetrol. It's a paint additive that just makes the paint go on smoother. If you're painting a wall, you'll want the consistency of the paint mixture to be like warm honey in the way that it flows off of the stick and into the cup. And there would be a little mound when it drips back in. To make things go hopefully a little smoother, I have mixed up my black paint and put it into a condiment squeeze bottle. I found these at the dollar store. That way I can squeeze on small pounds of paint and control the flow and how much gets added onto the canvas. And the black mixture is just a little bit thinner than the other paint mixtures because I want the black paint to flow a little bit more and that will create cells once it is swept over the other colors. I've also added a little bit of silicone to the black. I am using a silicone spray. There are a lot of different things you can do if you want to add silicone. The most readily available to me was this. I found it in the automotive section at Walmart, I believe. But there's other options you can look up online. It just all depends on what's easiest for you to get a hold of. And adding silicone will create cells, which are little bubbles and openings that form in the paint when it mixed together. Just as a note, the paint that I'm using is just acrylic paint. Um, most of it comes from Michaels. Um, you can use anything from paint you get at the dollar store up to artist grade paint. It really doesn't matter. Um, I found that you pretty much get a really interesting result, no matter what quality of paint you use or what quality of pouring medium. All right, I'm just gonna start now by laying down some lines of color. I'm using a 10 by 10 canvas, which is just a little bit big for my paint tray, but that's okay. I have newspaper and wax paper laid down. And I am going to pour these on in just kind of a curved motion. It's okay if the paint drips where you may not necessarily want it. It's all going to mix together when you do the swipe. to tilt the canvas a little bit to get the paint to flow over the edges so that they are covered. Swipe technique, what you usually do is lay down a line of paint that's going to be your swipe color like black or white, whatever color you want to. And you'll take an object, such as just a plain old paper towel or a piece of cardboard, a plastic squeegee. You can really do it with a lot of different objects. And so generally what you would do is put your paper towel down, just barely touching the top of the canvas. 
so that it connects with the paint and lightly drag it across. As you do so, the paint will mix together and cells will start to pop up. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to use my squeeze bottle of black and I'm just going to squeeze on black in small sections and swipe with a small piece of cardboard. I'm going to squeeze down some black here. Grab my piece of cardboard. Touch it down onto that black paint. And ever so slightly drag it across the paint surface. I'm just gonna go from different sides just to see what kind of a look I end up with. See how there are cells starting to open up and they're looking pretty cool. You can also, if you have available to you, a heat gun or a small torch like a creme brulee torch and you can lightly just pass the flame and the heat over the surface of the canvas and it makes more of these cells show up. And I've gone ahead and cut a smaller piece of cardboard and I'm just going to go in in these darker parts and play with them a little bit more. I'm gonna just keep touching up small areas with a craft stick. last step before I let this dry. I'm just going to take some black and some of the colors that have run off and touch up the parts on the sides of the canvas where there may have been paint that didn't cover. I'm going to leave it as it is now and stop tinkering with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I wanted to show what it would look like if you use just a paper towel for the swipe technique. So I have a new canvas with the same color paint laid down and I have a regular old sheet of a paper towel with the edge just slightly damp. I'm going to put down the swipe color, which is black. And I've put it in a squeezy bottle because it does make it really easy to lay down the paint. Alright, here we go. Just gonna lower it down just so it touches the surface of the paint. And drag it. across. Honestly, I'm not sure if I want to leave these patches of color that didn't get touched by the paper towel. I think I will just use the small piece of cardboard again and just swipe these two patches. Swipe them to the right. Just to see what happens. all the little cells start to open up and they look pretty cool. So I should probably leave this and not mess with it anymore. Once again I'd like to thank everyone for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.